What's up? No, I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm like that. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna sh tell you guys and show you guys how to customize your phone without downloading an extra app to do the job. Because it's most likely gonna take up space. And if you're like me, where you get that storage notification, full notification, you don't want those problems. They're not cute. They're actually disrespectful. So Apple, you need to like do something with that. But that's another, that's another time. Honestly, I never really knew that you could customize your own screen on iPhone like add pictures and stuff like that I didn't really know you can do that until I watched this video which I'll post that I'll, I'll put a video here if you want to see how she customized hers you put this video how she did hers and I'll put that video on this side too uh, and I'll put them in the description box too now, the video that I watched she said the girl said that you download this app called widget widget smith Okay, so you download that app and then basically that's how you like do what you need to do to customize it. So, I was like, okay, so I downloaded it and I was about to just do what I do. I was about to follow instructions and customize my phone. But, here's what I stumbled across. Here's what I stumbled across. You know how when you click the, you click your phone, you click an app and like it just wiggles and like it has an X? Basically, that's what happened. And all of a sudden, I see this little plus sign at the top of the screen. And I was like, hmm, what is, what is this? Let's find out. And I clicked it, and it basically took me to like all these widgets that Apple has. And one of them included Pinterest. And with the Pinterest widget, you can make a picture, basically have, show your interests. Or you can make, um, what's the other, or you can make, you can just do it through a album on Pinterest. It's your interest and your what else. Yeah, so I was like, okay, why do I have Widget Smith downloaded if I can do this with Pinterest? So I was like, okay, we're deleting Widget Smith and we're going to do it with Pinterest because... It's about the same way, it does the same thing. So why not, you know, less apps? And yeah, there's a bunch of pictures on Pinterest that I can find and that's what I decided to do. So first I'm gonna show you guys how I, or explain how I ended up um, using Pinterest for customizing my phone. And then I'm gonna show you how I customize my phone and how I made it like work for me in a way. If you already have Pinterest downloaded, then you're good to go. If you don't have Pinterest downloaded, download it if you want to, but you don't have to download it. You don't have to. I'm not gonna pressure you to download it. But um, basically, you go and you have um, Pinterest downloaded, and then you, if you just click on your phone, like where no apps are, if you just click on it, everything will just wiggle. So then once you see that happen, you click the little plus sign on the on your phone, on the top of your phone. And then after that, it'll take you to the type of widgets, widgets that you want. A bunch of widgets that you can do with different apps. You can do a widget for your music. You can do a widget for your notes, your um, city to see what degrees it is, you know, your pictures. But if you want to do the ones for your pictures, I would suggest you do them on Pinterest because if you do them on the widget that Apple has, they don't stay on the specific picture that you want. And I don't really like that, so I didn't do that. When you choose the widget for Pinterest, it will, it will take you to an interest one. And you can either choose for that one to be um, a small widget or a big widget. Then, if you don't want it to be an interest one, interest based one then you'll take it to you'll slide it to the left to boards and you can either do a small board or a big board depending on the size that you choose and basically 
you choose the board that you want if that's what you're going for you click on it and it'll disappear on your um screen screen i think screen it'll appear on your screen and then it'll tell you to edit so when it comes to editing you're going to click on it and it's going to tell you to choose what board that you want so before you choose what board you want i would suggest that you make a board on pinterest of the ones that you want for it to have and name them the way that you want and another thing if you make a board on pinterest and you're adding it to here um if you put two pictures or three pictures in that album or in that board on pinterest then you can choose it to update hourly or daily and basically it'll basically rotate those three pictures either hour hourly or daily hope that makes sense but i didn't really want that i just wanted the pictures to just stay so i made an album i made a bunch of albums because i wanted a lot of pictures i wanted a lot of inspiration on my phone you don't have to make as many albums as me not albums boards and when you make your boards on pinterest make sure that they are public because if they're private they're not you're not going to be able to put them or they're not going to the widget is not going to be able to see them or show the picture that you put on i think that yeah that's what i'm trying to say choose the board that you want that you name and basically the picture will come up and yeah so after that you can basically just start moving your apps the way that you want to place them and yeah you can basically do that you can just basically just start moving the way that you want it to go with this one i didn't keep my phone like this because i didn't really like that but this is how it looked the first time that i did it so i was just moving stuff around playing around with how i wanted my phone to look so that's just what you should do whatever feels right to you do it with your phone another tip that i have is what if you know you see this you want this wording on pinterest but they don't have it in the style that you're going for or it doesn't go with the theme that you're doing on your phone or your page the phone of your page i don't know what you call it but we're just gonna call it your screen say you want this word you want this quote or you want um this picture or whatever but it doesn't really match with your with the theme that you're going for the easiest way that i uh, that you could do this is to go to download fonto fonto is like an app that you can like do anything with you can make your thumbnails with it you can do just about anything with it so you can download um fonto choose a size that you want or regular and then basically put the word or the quote that you want choose the font that you want make it in a way just make it the way that you want it to look so it can match your theme and basically you're going to save the picture and you're going to upload it to pinterest did i show you that you're going to upload it to pinterest give it a title and then you're going to do that process again to add it to your screen how you got it you update it and then boom there you go it fits with your screen so yeah that's a um, way that I did okay so now on to the customization of my phone